Hey everyone, welcome back. We're going to continue our discussion on file permissions in Linux. It's so fun. In the previous video, we talked about chmod, and we're going to continue to use that command in this video, but we're gonna change it just a little bit because instead of using octal, we're going to be using a different notation. And this book I've been reading, the Linux command line has some good like tables and stuff, and I was like, Man, I wish there was a way I could show you guys these tables. Well, I actually managed to find these exact tables online and they gave credit. So pretty much we're working with these different permission setups and so far we've done the octal numbers to get the different file modes. However, there's another notation where instead you can specify what permissions you want to add or subtract. So X being execute and then U being the user. So if you wanted to add the execute permission to the user, you would say U plus X. So overall, there's four different symbols, U for user, G for group, and O for everyone else. And then if you want everybody, you would use an A or all. So you can add execute, you can subtract execute, or you can be specific and say exactly what permissions you want using assignment. So if you wanted to assign the read and write permission to the group and everyone else, this is how you would do that. So let's go through some simple examples of this. Open up the terminal. And right now we have no files. Let's just create a file. We'll just literally call it file. And now let's take a look at the default permissions. We got the hyphen here for saying it's a file. Read write for the owner read write for the group, and then read for everyone else. We can say chmod. If we want to give write permission to everybody, we could say o for other plus w for write, and then the name of the file, which in this case is just file. And then let's take a look now. You can see we added that permission. So it's pretty simple. Let's go through an example where we want to specify the permissions. If you wanted to give full permission to everybody, you would say chmod a plus read write execute file ls-l and you can see we have full permissions for everybody now, which in general is not really recommended, but just showing you that it's possible. Let's go ahead and assign some new permissions. So we'll say chmod a equals read and write and that'll get rid of the execute permission, but everybody is still read and write. We haven't really talked about what the X means, but basically it allows a file to be executed as if it's a program. We might see that more coming up. All right, let's clear the screen. And now I want to give it a possible challenge and see if you guys can write the exact command to make it work. So let's say we want to give read and write and execute permissions to the owner, read and write to the group, and then just read to everyone else. What would that command look like? And keep in mind, when you have multiple users like that, you can separate them here with a comma. All right, so now let's go through what that would look like. We would say, first let's just get a list of the files, chmod. So for you, that's how I remember. I literally think of it like you as in yourself we can assign the value read, write, execute. For the group, we can say read, write. And then for other, we can just say read. And then the file name. I actually think this is an issue with spaces being after the commas, which is interesting. So sorry about that, but let's check this and see if we got what we were expecting. Read, write, execute for the owner, read and write for the group and read for everyone else. So that is an introduction to chmod with symbolic notation. And another little bonus here with this question, understanding chmod. Well, there's a link down here to actually get the book as a PDF version, which I don't exactly know how that works from a copyright point of view. I don't know if it's like uh, legal, but yeah, here's the thing. I'm assuming that the author put this on here. So, and there we go. So you can find this information around page 90 and you can get all the details. So thank you, Mr. Schatz, for putting your book out there for everyone to view. It's really helpful for the series and hopefully it wasn't pirated. <laughs> I'm pretty sure you put it on there though because that is in fact your username here. Thank you all for watching. Stay tuned for the next video. Peace out.